All right, everyone, the molar mass of caffeine is 194.19 grams. Is the molecular formula of caffeine C4H5N2O or C8H10N4O2? So this problem is essentially finding the molecular formula based off the empirical formula. For this problem, we're going to say our empirical formula is C4H5N2O because that formula is in lowest whole number ratio. You can't divide 4, 5, 2, and 1 by anything to get smaller whole numbers. So that's our empirical formula. We're going to see is that the actual formula or is the formula some multiple of the empirical formula? We only have one option, C8H10N4O2. So which of those is correct? Is it the empirical formula? Or is it some multiple of that? So to figure this out, since they gave us the empirical formula, we want to find the molar mass of our empirical formula. Because if we find the molar mass of that, we can compare it with the 194.19 grams of the actual formula. And comparing those will tell us which one is correct. So for our molar mass, we have carbon in caffeine, we have hydrogen, we have nitrogen, and oxygen. And looking at our empirical formula, if we had one mole of C4H5N2O, that would be four moles of carbon, because it has a little four there. For hydrogen, we'd have five moles for every one mole of this. For nitrogen we'd have two moles and for oxygen we'd have one mole. So that's how many moles we we would have of each element. We want to turn those into grams because we want the molar mass so we want grams. So we're going to multiply these by conversion factors. And those conversion factors are going to be the molar masses. We're starting with moles, so moles will be on bottom of each of these because we want to get rid of it. Specifically one mole. And then grams will go on top because that is what we want. And we will get those from the periodic table. For carbon, it's 12.01 grams per mole. For hydrogen, 1.01 grams per mole. For nitrogen, 14.01. And oxygen, 16.00. So by solving all these, we will get the number of grams attributed from each element. So for carbon, 4 times 12.01 is 48.04. For hydrogen, 5 times 1.01, 5.05. Nitrogen, 2 times 14.01, 28.02. And oxygen, 1 times 16 is 16. And these are all grams because our moles cancel out through our dimensional analysis, through our converting. So to get the molar mass, we're going to add all of these together. So 48.04 plus 5.05 plus 28.02 plus 16 gives us a molar mass of 97.11 grams, somewhere around there. Now that is the molar mass of our, again, empirical formula, C4H5N2O. Now we're going to compare the molar mass of the actual molecular formula and we're going to divide that by the molar mass of the empirical formula which is C4H5N2O. So the problem said the molar mass of caffeine which is our, our actual formula is 194.19 grams. We got that from the problem. 
We're going to divide that by our lowest whole number ratio molar mass, our empirical formula molar mass, which is 97.11 grams. Now by dividing this, we're going to see how many times bigger the molecular formula is from the empirical formula. So dividing 194.19 divided by 97.11 grams gives us right about 2. Okay, it's not always exact, but right about two. So that means that our empirical formula, okay, which again is C4H5N2O, that times two is going to be our actual molecular formula, the formula of caffeine. So C4 times two, okay, would be C8. H5 times 2 would be 10. N2 times 2 would be N4. And O1 times 2 would be O2. Okay, which is the only other option we had was 2 times the empirical formula. So our final answer. What is the molecular formula for caffeine? It is C8. H10N4O2. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.